Jay LaRock, percent off collector, and we have another what's in the box, and this is featuring yet again a bunch of items I picked up this past week. And I have been hitting a mixture between thrift stores and garage sales, and it has been incredible. I like loose figures. I don't mind if they're worn. I don't mind even if some of them are broke or missing pieces. I just like having them, looking at them, especially when I get them cheap at a great price. And this is actually a continuation of part of the garage sale I've talked about in some of my other videos. I was going out uh, looking for garage sales and I had went to one where they were, they had a bunch of stuff that was like signed and special, but they wanted so much money. I was like, nope, I'm not that kind of collector. I started driving away and I saw a table and I thought it said 50, I thought it said $5. So I was thinking it was going to say $5 a piece. I was like, eh. But I was like, let me go see. I stopped. I walked back there. It said 50 cents for each item. And I so showed some of the items in the other video. Like the, there was a Batman. There was a Gears of War Phoenix. And here is some more from these items. Actually, pretty much everything you see today, except a video game bundle, I paid 50 cents to a dollar for. So $25, $50, and $1 is what you're going to keep hearing over and over. And this is an incredible haul. Let me tell you also what we do here. Basically, we do flip, keep, donate. Uh, if you have new to this channel, I have a thing called Call to Action Figure Toy Donation Drive. I have an Amazon wish list that you can find in our description. If you buy anything from that... I'll do a thank you and reveal video and the toy will go to Birthday Dreams. It's an organization here in Seattle that provides birthdays for homeless kids. Uh, they collect new in box things, so that's why it has to be new. And so the Amazon wish list is an easy way to do that. And what I do is I go out and I look for action figures and other things that I can't donate because they're open. And what I do is I'll try and flip them or sell them to somebody. Sometimes I might keep it if it's a Transformer or a G.I. Joe. But then usually what I do with the proceeds is I'll buy toys to add to it. And you'll see in some of my reveal videos that what I'll do is if you buy something, that I'll take something from toys that I bought and add it to it. That way more items can go to the kids each month. Because this is every uh, everyday thing. And we actually need more more toys. We're actually kind of short this month. I li I'd like to at least get 10 toys a month, um, and so far we only have like three. So um, we're a little behind, so if you can help, that would be great. But, so, these items here, some of these I might just keep, but I'll still tell you like what they're worth. And the ones that are worth a lot, I probably will flip so I can buy some toys to donate. But without further ado, let's get to the toys. So, we're going to do these kind of in a bundle. All these here that you see were 50 cents. So this one is the 2019 Jazz Warriors Fortnite Legendary Series Raven. At first when I saw this figure, I swear, let me move these a little out of the way so that the camera doesn't go crazy because it goes crazy sometimes based on focus. So when I first saw this, I thought it was a Prowler. <laughs> I really did, especially I thought it was the Prowler from Spider-Verse and I didn't know it was Raven. This figure looks really cool. Um, it's, it's creepy. It looks awesome. It has good articulation. Uh, crazy enough, out of the box, just like this, I've seen this figure on eBay, 25 bucks. If that's true, I'll flip it because, as I said, I can't donate this. So, um, and it's not something I'm attached to. So I'll probably flip it. We'll see. But pretty, pretty cool figure. Uh, next up is. This, now this is actually, I didn't realize this was a Transformer. At first when I saw it, I thought it was just um, like some kind of like half action figure robot. But actually, this is the Transformers The Last Night Skeleon Premiere Edition. And that's pretty cool. So in that case, I will hold on to this. Um, now, here's the crazy thing though. This being opened, I've seen also for $30. So... Again, 50 cents and so far 25 and then 30. I guess if someone, if it's really going for that price and it sells, I may have to flip it just because I don't have any attachment to this character or this figure. And to be able to get 30 bucks for it to buy more toys to donate or to maybe buy a Transformer for me too is just too good to pass up. 
But it's a cool looking figure. It's kind of wobbly though. Like it's it's definitely been played with. So I mean, I even if it did sell for thirty plus, I'd probably put it cheap, like twenty, just so I could sell it and get it get it over there quick. But that's pretty cool. Uh, so next up we have um, oh actually we have a New Hope Vader. And I have a couple of uh, smaller, like three and uh, three point seven five inch uh, figures, but I don't have one that is six inch. So this is cool. And he has the cloth cape. You know, got pretty good articulation. This actually did come with um, two lightsabers, cause I have um, I have Ray as well, which I'll show in just a second. But it wasn't Ray's lightsaber. Actually, it was Kylo Ren's lightsaber, and I think the other lightsaber was Vader's because it looked like his traditional red lightsaber. Um, again, 50 cents. This goes for about $15. Here is Ray. Um, this one also goes for $15. It's cool because like it did have her gun, so I thought that was cool. Uh, but it doesn't have her lightsaber because it's unless her lightsaber is red. I don't remember that. Um, this, though, I'm probably going to keep her just because she would count as part of my women of action figure line. So I'm probably just gonna hold on to her. And then last from the action figures is this uh, Fortnite uh, Victory Royale series. And this is Midex Rex or Midex, I guess like Midas, maybe, I don't know. I don't, I, I, I played Fortnite, but I don't know all the characters. Again, 15, 15, 15, this goes for 15, just like this. He's got this cool sword though. That's sweet, though. <laughs> I mean, this one I might try to flip just because I don't have an affinity to it. But, I mean, if I had to hold on to it, just the fact that he looks cool. Look at that. He's got his uh, little gun here that you could take out. And that sword looks sweet. Um, I like that cape. I think the cape comes off, too. Um, but it's a cool-looking figure. I have to give Fortnite, man. Their figures be looking sweet. So, I mean, if I can't flip this, I got no problem holding on to this. Uh, but this is it as far as the action figures, but coming up next, got some Transformers! Alright, now, if you see my videos before, you know I go crazy when I find Transformers in the wild. So, all of these I'm going to be keeping at least for now, though one of these items sells for a crazy amount of money, and I, I had to look and look and look to make sure it was real, because, you know, sometimes when you see something on eBay, especially like I use the Google Glass because I don't know all this stuff by heart. I'm not that kind of collector yet. Maybe one day I'm learning. Um, but then, you know, sometimes they'll show you the most expensive eBay listing for some reason. And then you'll go find out, oh, no, it's not selling for this. It's selling for five dollars. But I'm going to show you this. But let me get this out of the way. I'm going to So once you move it, I'm going to show you what's left. And after I move these out of the way. It's going to be all of this right here. All of this actually goes to uh, the Transformers Robots in the Sky Combiner Force Galvatronus. And that's also this guy here. Now, here's the thing. He's missing parts, so I don't expect it to sell for that. And I wasn't really planning to sell it anyway. Um, but it's just crazy. I didn't know it was that expensive. So this could be a candidate maybe for a toy ER, perhaps. Because look, like he doesn't have his feet. But again, I think it connects here. I didn't do full research yet. Um, I do plan to do a what's in the box featuring different groupings of uh, my loose transformers. So once I do that, I'll find out more and see. But so this is how it looks as as is. But I'm thinking since I have four pieces, that when I combined it, then it's supposed to look right. That's why I assume, right? So, I mean, if someone knows, tell me in the, in the comments. So, here's, the, so I'm thinking these are each piece. So maybe these are like, you know, like they're each their, their own little robot, but I'm thinking legs, two legs and two arms. So there's one piece. Then here's the other one. And then here's the other one. This looks like these could be hands, I assume. And then here's the other one. So I don't know if these are missing things too. 
I'm going to take more time to go through each of these and see what I have just in case I'm missing something but I'm just happy now I only paid 50 cents for all of those all of these were in a little baggie and they gave it to me for 50 cents so that is just sweet I was super happy with that all right so next up we have this one here uh, now this is strange because um, is this right yeah when I looked this up it came out as the Transformer Generations Studio Series 50 Hot Rod but that that can't be right like oh wait is this this the wrong one that I had no cuz I have the combiner I'm just looking over my notes cuz I don't know all this stuff by by heart no I'm sorry I'm sorry this is the Transformers the last night Optimus Prime turbo uh, changer yeah I figure it's turbo changer because when you see this is the one that like transforms like really quick I forgot it's like I know you pull and you do something I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm bad at transforming even simple you know five-year-old versions but this was really cool again part of that 50 cents line really awesome so yeah this one and this one just like this goes for 10 bucks but again I'm not I'm not flipping my my transformers uh, this was the one that showed up as um, brawl uh, wait is that right no this is the one that showed up as hot rod but that's weird because I might have that wrong so I may so if someone knows this one because I don't know this guy it doesn't look like a hot rod though I know that the last one here that the last one I have here that's brawl but this one I'm not actually not sure unless I wrote that wrong but I don't know this transformer but I mean look at it it's not brawl that's for sure it's not it's not hot rod either actually I don't see the transformer symbol on this one if someone knows what this is let me know I might have mixed my notes up but I definitely don't know this by heart maybe this is a knockoff but either way it's cool 50 cents I don't care uh, the last one here this is brawl nice tank and I actually have uh, the knockoff version of this uh, as well I got it from AliExpress let me see if I can grab it real quick Oh, actually, nope, I can't grab it real quick, so it'll take too long. But this is cool. I like tanks, so anytime I'm able to get a little tank together, that's really sweet. So this is this this is part of the combiner, but I don't have any of the other pieces as of yet. But either way, I'm just happy to have out of the box, you know, out in the wild transformers. And like I said, each one of these were 50 cents, so it doesn't even matter if they were knockoffs or missing parts. The fact that I got these for 50 cents a piece is freaking sweet. All right, so this was one of those um, garage sales that they had like a little box of toys. And it's interesting, nobody was looking at these. I went over there, I think it's at a dollar each, but then I was like, hey, how much for everything? And it was, it was like this and a couple of like tiny figures. I'm gonna do a video of like all the little tiny figures that I have, cause I, my drawer is full. But here's an example, like little stuff like this, and then little stuff like that. It's like, I, I just have tons of these. And I'm gonna do a, just a, a video. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, I was a huge fan, well not was, I am a huge fan of Toy Galaxy. And I loved back in the day watching his uh, ones where it was at the photo booth. I, especially during COVID, it, it helped me out. So that's kind of what I based this segment, what's in the box on, is just basically, a camera and a bunch of toys <laughs> you don't even get to see me you don't really want to see me you want to see the toys so uh, going out and being able to get a box of uh, toys and, and especially for cheap was great so I was able to get these for 25 cents each and I'll go through them really quick and I just like the variety and they move it out so the camera doesn't go crazy all right so first up this is the 2011 Captain America bobblehead that's cool it's awesome that they were nice enough to tape the shield to it so I don't lose it but very cool I have so many of these now and it's so crazy because everyone's selling them so I mean I don't think I've ever paid more than a dollar for these most of these I've gotten for 25 cents or 50 cents uh, and then we have Russell Wish Wilson this is the 2015 Seahawks Russell Wilson while he was still on the Seahawks 
He's now sticking sticking it up on another team. <laughs> that's for um, that's for Doug Ellen. If anyone knows what I mean when I say that, my making fun of Russell Wilson is is a shout out to Doug Ellen. Then kudos for you knowing what that means. Uh, but this is cool. Not a bobblehead, but cool. Uh, again, uh, this one twenty five cents. All this stuff twenty five cents. Um, next up, I don't know which Star Wars this was. I kept looking to see, and unfortunately, like when you scan it, it it tells you all different types. Um, this is pretty cool. It, you know, can another can? Oh yeah, there it goes. It extends in. Then you can turn it for it to drop the the third leg. <laughs> I don't know why it sounds dirty to me. Uh, look, it has little compartments for the lightsabers, for the weapons. That's really cool. So I'm pretty sure that this is not your standard R2-D2. But if anyone knows what series this is from, please tell me in the comments because I'd like to be educated because I don't know. But this is pretty awesome. So really cool, 50 cents. And then last up, I just thought that this was sweet. Actually, there was like two others that were in there, but they were kind of scratched up. So I was like, I'm not going to show those on camera. It's no big deal. Um, but this one was cool. Um, just to go back, because I realized I was skipping this, uh, the Captain America sells for $10, uh, on eBay, Russell Wilson, Wilson sells for $10, um, the Combiner Wars Deluxe Brawl sells for $30, um, like I said, Galvatronus sells for $60, I don't know how much the R2-D2 sells for, this is the Hot Wheels Monster Jam, uh, Monster Truck, uh, Scoopy Doo diecast toy. This one sells for about eight bucks. Just this, especially in good condition like this, I'm really surprised how clean this was. So, very good pickup. I mean, I'll see. Maybe I'll. I'm probably flip all of these because I don't. I don't care about Russell Wilson. I don't really collect Funko except for May. That was probably the only one that I wanted. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's a couple of others I would keep, but the rest of this. Flip it! Let's talk video games real quick. All right, so basically, one of the things I realized I, I'd like to do flipping just because I always kept my video games in a box anyway. Um, but the truth is, is that I'm all media now. Uh, you know, online media, digital media. I don't care about keeping it, uh, keeping the boxes or anything like that. So I actually, I, my, how my eBay account started even before I really started doing any type of reselling was selling some of my old games and stuff like that. Um, since then, I've just kept an eye out for like really cheap games and then see if I can flip it. And when I went to the state sale, they had this, which is a Disney Infinity Xbox 360 bundle. And this has the, uh, the pad, manual, disc, and a bunch of figures. So you can see here's the game here. And then I can open really quick. And it has like the little pad and then has Incredibles, Jack Sparrow, I forgot, oh this is this like an incredible, I forgot what this, oh no this is part of the game because it's different types, Pirates, Incredibles, okay, and then Monsters, Monsters Inc is the last one, so from Monsters Inc. So that's a little bundle that's cool. Like I said, these these are definitely just flipping it. Um, I got this whole bundle for three dollars, and it sells for let's see, fifteen to twenty dollars on eBay, especially with all these accessories. So that's really cool. So, sticking with the video games, I also got these. All of these were a dollar each. So I got Far Far Cry Five opened but very good condition this was really good uh, fallout game of the year edition again really good almost no no scratches no damage on it and this one fifa 18 this one is actually sealed now none of these games are worth a lot of money it's just a little bit uh fallout is worth five far cry is worth five this sealed fifa is worth eight to ten so you know, again, th this is like the equivalent of beer money, but I don't drink beer, so it's to toy donation money. Um, so that's what I'll do. 
flip these for a couple of extra bucks and then buy some toys. I almost wish I could just keep, well, no, because then I'd have to buy it on eBay. I was gonna say, I almost wish I could just keep the money in eBay, um, but nah, most of the toys I'm gonna end up buying from Amazon anyway. So those are the video games I picked up this week. All right, last up, this is the first time I have seen any Turtles anything in the field. I've gotten a bunch of Turtles Leonardo's <laughs> from like Value Village and those uh, little action figure bags, um, but yeah, this is the first time. Now this is that same place and these uh, also were 50 cents. As I said, this was a table and when they were like 50 cents for this size, I was like, wow, that's just crazy. So let's see, now I admit, oh, okay. So I guess it's this, cause I admit, I don't know these toys. So this is the 2014, actually I can tell by looking at the bottom at the year. Yeah, okay, so this is the right one. All right, so this is the Viacom Playmates uh, uh, Stealth Bike t uh, 2014. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stealth Bike. Uh, and this is cool, like, I don't really know. I think this opens up. Yeah, there you go. So this opens up, you can put figures in there. Has a little wheel guard, looks awesome. Nice. Pretty good condition. Here you can see the date and all that. Viacom, TMNT. So uh, these, are, they don't go for that much. Basically seven to ten dollars in this condition. You know, I'm sure that there's probably something else that goes with this that I'm missing, but still very cool. And then here is its brother. Uh, and this one is the 2015 Viacom Playmates uh, TMNT trike motorcycle is weird. It says motorcycle trike scooter hot and fresh pe hot and fresh pizza That's that's what it said when I looked this up um, I really think it's cool just because look you got the little Boiler I guess I love that you have the pizza back here like, okay. Hot and fresh pizza pizza. I mean were they sponsored in this case by little Caesars or what because pizza pizza that makes me think about that Wow, I did not notice the menu. Wow, that is small type. <laughs> but that's cool that it has a menu there. Fire extinguisher. So what? Is this like their equivalent of food truck? Look, they got a little propane tank. Wow, this is really cool looking. Uh, again, 50 cents. This also sells uh, 7 to $10. So as I said, a very sweet grouping of toys. I was very happy. Um... Most of the stuff, like I said, I'll probably flip, except for uh, the Transformers and uh, and uh, the Ray, because she'll go to the Women of Action figure. But if you like these type of videos, uh, please give me a like, give me a sub, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. I have videos coming out five days a week. We have over 100 videos. I have a lot of videos like this coming out. So I hope you enjoy it. Either way, thank you so much for spending time with me geeking out and enjoying this. And until next time, remember my motto, and I'm living it every day. No discount, no deal. Catch you next time.